Dread family, what's good? What's up? Much blessings to you guys. Assalamu alaikum, Rastafari. Um, <clears throat> I quickly want to um, discuss a topic that's been um, kind of weighing on my mind lately, and that is um, um, um. There's been a lot of questions about um, how how to um, grow locks the healthy way, or or how to get lengthy long locks, and um. Really, I'm gonna sum it up like this, um, man. This is not um, trying to get at anybody in the wrong way, or trying to really um, nitpick at anybody. But uh, the really answer to really getting healthy long locks is you have to change the way you eat and your diet. Okay. Now I know many people like they like meat. They like to eat dead flesh and pigs and. The, the chicken and all that um there's nothing wrong with that as long as you watch how you consume it but um i suggest you guys really really study on um being vegan or vegetarian um being vegetarian is very important to growing you know healthy long locks because what you put into your body, you know, comes out. It's going to come out through your pores. It's going to, you know, treat how your hair is. Um, drink plenty of water. Water is definitely water every day. Don't, no excuses. Drink water every single day. Like, and, um. You have to keep up a healthy lifestyle. Now, all my conscious people out there, if you're so-called conscious, you should already know this. You have to work out daily, drink water, and eat greens every day. Every single day. Every single day, eat your greens. Because um, that's definitely going to help your, your locks grow. Sorry, I'm looking at this dog back there. But um, just like um, when you got a plant that you want to um grow healthy, that you want to um, fully sprout, you're gonna sit up there and you're gonna study what types of soil, how often you should water it, you know where to put it in the sunlight, how often you should put it out in the sunlight. You're gonna study those things in order to get your plant to grow. Now, that's how you have to treat your body in order to get your hair to sprout. Okay, because look, now, I'm not saying my locks are the healthiest, but this is, this is only six years. This is six years worth of non-twisting. Well, actually four years of non-twisting. And these are, you know, down to my belly button. Now... Imagine if I had twisted these. <laughs> they probably would be probably down to my buttocks or lower to my butt cheeks. <laughs> but um that's what I'm saying. I've been eating healthy, so and they've been growing, you know, pretty normally. Look, still new growth, all this new growth here. All this new growth. So um and this goes from Rarely eating um, meat. Um, rarely, eating, I cut. I don't eat pork. No, no, I never ate pork like that. Anyway, I've been stopped that. It's bad for you. Um, but beef, you have to limit how much beef you eat. Now you can eat fish. You can eat as much fish as you want. Um, you can eat as much salmon. I wouldn't say eat. You know, bake. I mean, fried fish. You can. Limit how much fried fish you can have. Probably once a day. But I'll su definitely suggest that you eat um, mainly, you know, baked fish, you know, without the um, the breaded skin, you know, without the breaded fried sh crap, whatever it is. Um, that's what I eat, you know. And it's pretty, it's, uh, 
it's pretty good. You know, it's a good, healthy lifestyle. No fruits, vegetables, you know, but there's too many people who eat poison, who constantly put poison in their system. And that's definitely not good. And that's definitely going to come out to how your hair grows, how it looks. You see some people out there with long hair and they start getting brittle and nasty. You know, oils is one thing to put in your hair to make it soft. But in order to really make your hair grow long, you have to uh, watch what you eat. Lots of vitamins, natural vitamins. And, you know, that's pretty much how you, that's the real, real answer and I'm telling you I'm telling you this will work I'm telling you so try tr give it if you don't believe me try experiment for at least like six months and then see how long your hair will get okay this method will work you know and wash wash every three weeks I'm telling you now wash every three weeks to a month forget every two weeks Forget, oh, you know, I'm free from it, what? No. Every three weeks to a month, wash. Okay? And watch your results. And eat right. You continue that diet, your hair will sprout. It will sprout. I'm telling you so. Really what I'm saying is cut out all the, um, the meat. Study, you know, being vegan and um, vegetarian. Or even pescatarian. I think that's what it's called when you only eat fish. Pescatarian. Study what that is, okay? Don't be artificial, okay? There's too many artificial um, stuff. Watch out for the artificial stuff because that has chemicals in it too. Like Splenda. Um, even your diet sodas that you got, uh, that many people on diet drinks. That has cancerous um, chemicals in it. Um cheese anything you know your dairy you know cut out all that stuff and if it's hard for you to you know to cut it out take baby steps okay cut out the beef and the pork cut that out completely that is not good for you start off with only eating chicken and then slowly you know once you're done eating chicken start off with cutting off fish and then slowly once you cut off fish you can go to um the fake the fake um processed uh, I wouldn't really now here's my thing on the processed meat that they make the fake meat I wouldn't say that I'm against it but um I'm somewhat for it because transitioning from real meat to that is is a good step it means you're on your way but uh, uh even still learn how to you know stop eating that because fake meat there's definitely chemicals in it but it's better than real meat I would say um, yeah just cut out all the um, just limit how much meat you eat grains every day grains and fruit water every day and you'll have long locks but um the earth is um the earth is speaking listen we live on earth the earth is giving us natural foods yet we're eating man-made foods that's that's got to be something wrong with that so just study the earth and what it's producing for you leave all the man-made items alone okay and, um you'll definitely have healthy locks but that's all i really want to say um i think my camera's gonna cut off soon you know? Thanks for watching. Please share this, subscribe, uh, whatever. Follow me on Instagram, RastaPrince90. I follow back. Funny memes on there. Who knows what I might post. Um, that's all. Bless up. And remember, water, fruit, greens, and daily exercise. Okay? Don't forget. And don't forget... Keep Africa golden. Bless up, y'all. Peace.